Hello everybody, welcome to a new video by Reviews on Anything. My name is Peter and today we're having a look at a winter sport accessory, namely the Diamond Mips Snow Helmet by Outdoor Master. A brand we've looked at uh, several times in the past, mainly because of their ski goggles. But today we're having a look at their helmet offering. This one is the Azure Blue version and obviously there's a whole range of colors available to suit your personal style and preference, but I quite like this blue one. And we're going to start with a look around the helmet itself. Obviously, I'm going to put it on later in the video. Uh, but you can see that it is the large size, uh, size L on the tag. It comes in a medium and small as well. And it has this very nice sort of fleece lining on the inside. Super nice, super comfortable. And that's actually also quite nice uh, when you start sweating in the helmet, which you inevitably will, uh, that it doesn't sort of soak up the sweat too much. You can see some ventilation holes uh, for your goggle ventilation. And here in the back, of course, the adjustable strap. Uh, so you can make sure it is locked in nice and tight because uh, that is obviously the safest way to wear your helmet. We got some ventilation here on the top as well with a slider so you can actually adjust it. You can imagine that early in the morning uh, when you're not too warm yet, uh, you might want to keep it closed or maybe when it's uh, snowing and stuff is getting in. Uh, but as you heat up throughout the day or when the sun is shining on your, on your head, you might want some extra ventilation. Here on the back, uh, also a fairly standard affair. I quite like this solution with the little uh, elastic to keep the uh, band of your ski goggles in place. Uh, you know, foolproof, can't really break, uh, so that is quite nice. Now, the big star of the show here is the MIPS, which stands for Multidirectional Impact Protection System. And that is this yellow shell, if you, if you will, inside the helmet. You can see this little extra layer between the outside of the helmet and the lining. Uh, now, it might seem uh, unnecessary, but as you can see here, I'll try to demonstrate it. When I move my hand, that shell moves inside the shell of the, the hard shell of the outside of the helmet. And uh, now that is so your head, in case of a crash, actually has room to move inside the helmet before or during the impact. Uh, and that, uh, some studies are done and shown that that reduces the risk of injury by quite a lot. So that is actually a feature I also tested in the Outdoor Master bike helmet, uh, but in this particular ski helmet application it works the, the same way, allows for extra movement during the event of a crash. And that is obviously more safety is always more better, so to say. So that is, uh, you know, an extra layer of protection that you can count on with this helmet. Very nice feature. Uh, other than that, it is a very complete helmet with all the features that you expect from a helmet that costs about 100 euros here in the Netherlands. Uh, and as you can see here, as I'm putting it on, it is actually quite a good looking helmet. There's nothing too crazy going on. It's just a, you know, a simple helmet design, but with all the right features in all the right places, uh, as I quite like it. Now I'm wearing an Outdoor Master pair of ski goggles here as well. So obviously this fits uh, great with the helmet. Would be strange if it wouldn't, uh, since it's their own brand. Uh, but uh, I've tested this with a variety of uh, goggles and they all fit quite nice, thanks to the flat design of the helmet. And there's also no... Uh, little lip sticking out like on my Alpina helmet for example uh, so that makes it nice and easy to wear the helmet with goggles. You can see that it uh, fits my head quite well and here I'm demonstrating the MIPS system again you know, I can move the helmet independently from my head uh, so that is again that MIPS safety feature allowing for that extra movement. Now a good thing uh, to notice at this point is that I have the strap very loose and actually this helmet is size L as I said in the beginning uh, and that is too big for me. This helmet uh, has quite a lot of extra room for me. Uh, so this is uh, personally for me, not the right helmet choice. I will need a size smaller, the size M. Now, this is very important to do. Um, make sure that your helmet is uh, you know, comfortable, but still snug. Because of course, the more room there is in your helmet to move, uh, the more likely it is to fly off in the event of a crash. I'll show you uh, right here that you know, with this loose strap, of course, I can put it a little bit tighter. Uh, but there is quite a lot of extra uh, movement available and that is not good. You can see I can almost take the helmet off completely and even if I put the strap a bit tighter, uh, that is still the case. Uh, so I could wear this uh, with um, a beanie inside, for example, but it's not really what it's intended for. Uh, you want to make sure your helmet fits good. Now, all around, this is a great helmet. It's pretty much a no-brainer buy and uh, Outdoor Master offers a great package this way with the extra safety feature, so all around very recommendable if you're heading for the snow this winter. And I think all around a good job by Outdoor Master.